22 is 107 at GHS. Oh, hello, my viewers. Today, I want to show you a problem that is maybe a little more common than uh, is known. Here's an extremely common screw found in most air conditioning cabinets. This is a 5 16 hex, it has a self tapping point to it. And take note of the actual length. It's actually about maybe a half of an inch in length. This is the replacement screw that you can usually find in just about any supply store, hardware store, wherever. It too is a 5 16 screw, but take note of the length. We're talking at least another quarter of an inch. Now look at this screw right here. It has a 5 16 head, but look at that. That thing's about at least an inch and a quarter. Whenever I condemn an air conditioning system, I usually cannibalize the quarter inch and 5 16 screws that are half inch long. Other techs used to laugh at me when I would do that thinking uh, why well this video is about why here's a barred unit that sprung a leak uh, sprung a leak right here can you see that hole in that liquid line well that hole was caused by some filter changers that used screws that were too large this is the size screw they should have used. I guess they lost the screw or something and just used something really big. But they should have used something about this size. And here's the result. That hole right there. So now I have to repair this hole. Now the first thing I'm going to do to repair this hole is I'm going to take some emery cloth and clean the and clean the area around it. See, shine it all up real nice, pretty. This way the solder will adhere to the copper easier. Okay, see, all nice and shiny and ready to braze. First things first, we'll put in some nitrogen so that we can successfully braze this hole closed without any problems with having any air or moisture inside of the tubing. That will reduce any kind of uh, scaling uh, forming on the inside while you braise. I put that steel plate where I did simply to be sure I did not burn the armaflex that's on the suction line that just happens to be in back of that liquid line that I have to repair. Here we go. And that about takes care of that. Now after letting this tubing cool, I can push it back into position where it's supposed to be. And I think what I'll do in this case is push all this tubing back a little bit further so that that screw won't be an issue anymore. Even if they decide to use a screw a little larger than they should next time. Hopefully that won't do that. Oh, and before I run out of tape, I just want to let everyone know that I've decided to pick a winner out of a hat for the gauges that Baker Distributing in Gainesville, Florida is going to be giving away as soon as my video views 
on that video hit 1,000. Originally, I was going to do it when it hit 5,000, but apparently I may have been a little ambitious when when I thought up that number. Uh, it'll probably get 5,000 views eventually, but I want to be able to give it away soon because I have a lot more things to give away.